What is going on guys? This is Sim with Vengeance and I'm back here once again bringing you guys the NCAA Football 14 UAB Blazers Dynasty. Now, as you saw in the last video, we took care of some recruiting and set up our season schedule. Today we are taking on Iowa State in the season opener at Ames, Iowa. And it looks like Kirk Herbstreet does not have us winning this game. Uh by any stretch of the imagination <laughs> uh, you take a look at our info here we've only been to one bowl in our school history yeah that's gotta change um, we really just don't have the the schedule this year well we we might make the bowl game but it doesn't look like this year could be our year just yet we're taking it very slowly uh, building a dynasty is something that is very hard to do and um, I'm not so sure about how it's all going to work out for us because this team has been really bad in the past and right now as it stands we're probably going to focus on our our needs so right now we have a 290 point lead over Indiana and it's 50 points for a scholarship but I don't think these guys are worthy of scholarships just yet we're going to put about 200 points on our lead fullback here in about oh about 100 on the or actually yeah we'll go 100 on the other uh tackles a lot of these guys oh we could 200 on here for this guy here we definitely could use him uh pass blocking too we could definitely use that um with 200 here we got the lead for this guy too uh yeah, we're 200 points behind here, but if if Louisiana Tech, like I said, th I think I said this about this guy. This guy's going to be really hard to get uh, because he's already so low on the list. But we already have the lead for two of them, which leads me to believe that we're going to be fine. Uh, this guy here, we already have a huge lead over. Uh, we're going to go 200 points on him as well. I feel like 200 is just the right amount. Uh, we're going to go with 200 on him as well. We could use it on the center. Uh, about another hundred here for our backup, a backup plan, of course. Um, we're gonna go DNs. Ole Miss will be tough to beat out, but I think we—I don't think we need DNs. We're fine on DNs. D tackles is what we need to worry about. I'm gonna put three hundred on him actually, and then we'll see what we can do from here for the other players. Uh, we'll put two hundred on him for now. Um, nothing to be really too concerned about. Outside linebacker, uh, we'll pass on that for now. We'll go to our middle linebackers. Yeah, we need to put at least 250 on him. Or actually, we'll go 300. 300 on uh, Mr. Ross here. And corners, uh, we'll put 100 on this guy for now. And we'll go another 100 on this guy as well. Even though we don't have a big of lead over South Florida, uh, free safeties. Uh, yeah, this guy could definitely be useful. We're gonna go and put 200 on him. Even though he's not really fitting our needs right now, we could definitely use him. Uh, Aaron Hicks, athlete, six foot 191. We'll put. He's a three-star athlete, so we'll give him 200. And. This Georgia Tech might be tough to beat too, but we'll, we'll, we'll go 200 on him as well. Even, nah, maybe not so much. We'll go, we'll go, we'll go 100. And we gotta worry. We also have our bonuses, so it's not like it's any big deal yet. Um, especially with the location bonus, we have a lead with Th uh, Thurman Cox, so we're gonna put 150 on him. Uh, we're gonna put another 150 on. Lionel Poland, uh, Jim Target, McTargart, <laughs> Jim McTargart. <laughs> uh, we'll put we'll put a hundred on him. Not sold on him just yet. Akron's gonna fall way down, like way down, because they are awful, and that could easily lead us to believe that we could easily just take that guy over. Um, Tight ends. We could definitely 
put him up there as a guy who we could definitely use. 200 point bonus. We have a 250 point bonus plus the 200 we already have on him. And the other teams involved aren't really that close in location. It's, that actually helps us out a little bit more. Um, let's see here. Josh Moss. Tight end. We could definitely use him. Um, may not be so good for us in the location, but definitely someone we, we can keep an eye out on. Um, we're going to scout some players too. Um, we're going to scout the rest of these. See how we can get out of these. Okay. Okay. Uh, up and down. And we're not going to get many scouting points for right now. We're just going to focus on just us right now. We just need to win games right now. We just need to win games because this program's in deep shit. Uh, I know it's not really the, the friendship you were really looking for, but, I mean, it's true. This team has been in a bunch of bad spots before. Um, hmm. Sort by overall. We can go 100 here, 100 here, 100 here, 100 here. I'm not throwing all my eggs in one basket, not with this, not with this team. Oh. Alright, we have 100 more points to use. We'll throw it on this tackle here. Alright, so that's all we got for right now. Um, this isn't going to be a live commentary. So, Well, this is live commentary right here, but the game will not be. I'm going to cut that all out so you guys can see what the what is going on with everything. So, I hope you guys did enjoy the little pregame. I know it's took a little bit longer than you originally thought but um I hope you guys do enjoy that part we're gonna try and make these between uh, 17 and 25 minutes long I want you guys to see the recruiting and all that stuff so if you guys did enjoy that part um, please let me know I'll keep doing it if you got why if you guys want to see more if not please let me know I'll stop doing it uh, but on to the game ladies and gentlemen I hope you guys enjoy Glad to have you with us in the studio. I'm Reese Davis, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. For so much of its history, Iowa State has been an underdog. But now, a great opportunity in Jack Price Stadium today for the Cyclones to storm through with a huge victory. Thanks for checking out the pregame show, NCAA College Football Action, coming up next with Brad and Kirk on the call. David and I will see you at halftime. So we're finally here in the first game of the regular season here at Jack Trice Stadium here in Ames, Iowa as the UAB Blazers are going to take on the opponent, the Iowa State Cyclones. And fun little fact if you guys aren't into college basketball, these two teams uh, played each other in the NCAA tournament in the round of 64 and UAB came out with the upset. Now can they do the same thing just in a different sport? Obviously Iowa State is heavily favored as you saw in the little pregame uh, show right there. Um, we are just going to try and come out on top, uh, play our style of football, my style of football, which is, you know, have a nice balanced attack, um, run the football quite often, have a one or two running back system, kind of like we have in, that I have in the Bucks franchise. Um, hopefully we can build our quarterbacks to be kind of like what Glennon turned out to be in the Bucks franchise. I'm almost kind of replicating the Bucks franchise in a way, except we don't have as many good receivers or, or tight ends as we do in the Bucks franchise. But I do want to 
focus on defense, especially. Defense is key because defense wins games, you know, it, it does. Uh, if you don't play good defense, you're not going to win many games. Um, so uh, we're not going to try and put ourselves into too many tough situations. Obviously, this team is not as good as what it is in the Bucks franchise, clearly. But uh, I'm going to do the best with what I can, what I have. So we are doing a pretty good job on this first drive right here until this play right here. This a little bit of awkward situation. Cutler comes or coughs up the ball, and Avery from Iowa State picks it up. And there's our first turnover of the game. So Cutler not doing so hot on his first drive of the season. Here comes Iowa State. Hand off to Patterson. And Patterson's going to get a few extra yards here. And he's going to get taken down. But he's short of the first down. Only a pickup of six. So Josh Patterson, mm, he's a threat for Iowa State. They got a good spread them out system. So they could spread you out. And then they can just run right on you. But uh, we got to be careful. Keith Brown gain a five. First down UAB. And now next play or a few plays later third down and 13 under a minute to go in the first quarter that first drive did take a little bit of time so Cutler again and this time it's again intercepted by Tom Stovall of Iowa State and that's our second turnover of the game this time it wasn't such a it wasn't in great great field position at all uh, last place we wanted to turn the ball over uh, but it is, it is what it is so here is Allen dropping back Looks has time to throw, uh, not much time to throw, but he throws it underneath to Josh Patterson and he is taken down for a loss. And the UAB defense is coming through on the first couple of possessions. Now we have Cutler again trying to step back, but he gets nailed by the safety there. And Cutler does get a gain of five and a first down. Second down and four here at about the 40 yard line here. Handed off to Allen. And Allen gets the first down. Dan Allen. Dan Allen. Three carries, 14 yards. He's kind of like our Bobby Rainey. And now we have a first and 10 once again. Cutler with a single back formation. Drops back. Has time to throw over on underneath to his tight end. Weiss. And Weiss trucking over defenders. Getting that first down. Matt Weiss. First down. And later on in the drive, it's third down and seven. We take our time on these possessions. And that's key ball possession is key in this and it's almost intercepted again by Greg Moss and that is going to lead to a UAB field goal and from about uh, 40 uh, 37 yards out and it's good and it's now three nothing UAB small lead but it's better than having no lead right second down and 10 350 to go here in the second quarter Allen drops back looking deep over the middle it's picked off by Bates he was it was thrown right to him like okay uh, we'll take that free turnover thanks uh, here's Cutler dropping back again looks has time to throw and this one's almost intercepted as well right back by Leonard Jennings and we're gonna have to go three and out on that possession not really something but we that we really want to do especially with a slim lead but you see Allen getting this one and he's gonna pitch it out to Patterson and Patterson's got room to run down the sideline down past midfield to about the 49, 31 yard pickup for Josh Patterson. He's a threat to us because we don't really have many good run stoppers. Uh, we do have a decent secondary, but it's not something to be proud of. Something that you just know it's it's going to have the, its bad days and it's going to have its good days. Um, but our D line and linebackers, not the hottest commodity, to be honest. Uh, first and 10. Hand it off to Patterson again. He's got himself some room to the left side, and he's going to get pushed out of bounds at about the 24-yard line after a pickup of 12. He is getting some good yardage today for Iowa State. Third down and 12. They're near field goal range. Here's Allen again, and look at this crazy play. Here's the pick, uh, the swap by Pittman, and it's intercepted. <laughs> Talk about tip drill. Anyway, hand off to Brown. Like He's the Doug Martin of our like little dynasty here we need him to be productive in order for us to succeed our team does not succeed without a run game and I take pride in my running game I really really do and even the quarterback to the, takes a big part in this too because he is a pretty speedy quarterback and he can run from time to time so do not underestimate the power of a quarterback with a 79 speed here's Cutler again on a first and 10 finds a wide open Warren and gets the first down down to about the two yard line Zach Warren with that big catch and now we got a first and goal here with 34 seconds left and counting here's Cutler scrambling to his right trying to find a wide open space so he just sneaks into the end zone touchdown UAB and it's now 10 nothing with Justin Cutler's three yard scamper and now we have a decent sized lead as we go into halftime 
with a 10 nothing lead. We're going to take a look at the team stats here as we go into halftime. 142 yards passing to 61 rushing yards for UAB. Nine passing yards to 63 rushing yards for Iowa State. Look at that time of possession. We have to dominate the ball. Both teams have turned the ball over twice, but it is 10 to nothing. And honestly, we got to thank our, our ways of dominating the football. We have to keep control of the football in order to win a game. And the passing has been big. Uh, two interceptions by Iowa State hasn't really been working out for them. Uh, they've gotten down the field a couple of times, but they haven't really come out with any points. And that's going to come out to bite them in the end if they keep continuing this trend. So let's see what happens in the second half. As the first play of the second half, they got their little wishbone formation. They're going to hand off to Josh Patterson, and he breaks a tackle, breaks another tackle, and there's nobody that's going to catch him. 80-yard touchdown on the very first play of the second half. And that 10 nothing lead just became a 10-7 lead thanks to Josh Patterson's 80-yard touchdown run. That is not good. So we need to bounce back with something. We cannot just let him walk around all over us like this. So we get a nice little carry there by Brown, and he gets the first down. We may not <laughs> – this team has less rushing yards than Josh Patterson's single run alone. So Josh Patterson has been a threat to us all day long. But the problem is for Iowa State, they're relying too much on the pass and not realizing how well they're doing in the run. Which, hopefully if we keep on playing this game where we keep on holding the ball and you know keep on getting some points, we'll, we'll force them to pass, which has been a good thing for us today, uh, forcing those two interceptions. So third down and three, we keep the drive alive, picking up eight. And dominating that time of possession. Dominate the time of possession. Keep control of the football. Cutler once again looking, scrambling over to the right. We got Marshall, and Ryan Marshall picks up a gain of 16, and he's inside the 10-yard line now on a second and six. Here's Cutler again looking over the middle of Marshall once again down to about the one-and-a-half-yard line. And now we're just ready to punch it in with our fullback here. Fullback dive, Ford, touchdown, UAB. It is now 17-7. to This is those one of those forcing them to pass situations so it's, it's getting to that part in the later of the game where they're down by a couple of scores and they need something fast so here on a third down and 10 Iowa State's in a little bit of a passing situation again here's Allen and he gets pressured as he hits it he's thrown and John Wade comes up with it but it's not enough for the first down and UAB is going to get the football back with just 30 seconds to go here in the third Cutler looking deep, and this one is caught by Warren. Zach Warren, go up and get it, young fella. And he gets a gain of 25 on the play. Beginning of the fourth quarter here, second down and 12. It's going to that screen pass to Keith Brown. Underneath, he gets it, and he's got room to run. Down inside the 20 to the 15 and a half. We'll, go, we'll actually call it 16. Down to about the 16-yard line here on a second and 10. We're going to do a halfback counter to our backup Allen and he's getting some good yardage on this one too pushing over a defender and he gets a gain of 12 Dan the man Allen and he's inside the five and now second and goal here we're gonna hand it off to Keith Brown again and that's an easy touchdown right there forcing it to be a very bad situation for Iowa State it's now 24 to 7 with just five minutes to go in the game this is pretty much pass on every down mode now for Iowa State and Allen dropping back. And this one's intercepted again by Morris. And he's running backwards. We know this. Uh, I don't think I had any control over that. <laughs> I really wanted to go the other way. But it's like he keeps on stumbling and tripping over everybody. And that wasn't really a good situation. But it doesn't matter anyway. Leonard Jennings deflects the pass. And Iowa State gets the ball back with 322 left. Like I said, pass on every down mode for Iowa State. Here's Allen looking. Steps up, and this one's intercepted again by Maxwell. And that's the fourth interception thrown by Allen today. Not a good day for Iowa State offensively, except for the running game. Um, but they need to do better than that. And <laughs> I honestly, my difficulties were Heisman on offense and All-American on defense. Uh, but I'm probably going to bump it up to Heisman on both sides just for the... The way that I dominated Iowa State, I really did not see it coming. Um, I honestly expected a better game, maybe like 24 to 21. But anyway, we did come out with a good win today. We start off 1-0 on the year, and I'm hoping that we can just continue this 
I don't, I don't know. Continue to have a decent running game like we did today. 19 carries, 117 yards for Keith Brown, player of the game. And great showing. If you guys have any questions about our team, about the way I'm recruiting, please leave them down in the comments section. And all around college football, keep you guys up to date and all that good stuff for about this dynasty. But if you guys are hyped, drop the like like it's hot because this video is hot. So are you guys. Until then, my name is Sim with Vengeance, and I am out of here. Peace.